as two or more agree, it will be done for you on this earth. That's what I want to talk to you about today, the power of agreement. Now, this is coming primarily out of Matthew chapter 18. I want to show you what the Word of God says and remind you that the principle behind it is so powerful. It is so powerful that you could use this principle and agree with something that the devil says and it'll happen. You could agree with God's Word and it'll happen, okay? Let me read this to you from Matthew chapter 18 verse 19 and 20. It says, I also tell you this, that if two of you agree here on earth concerning anything you ask, my Father in heaven will do it for you. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Now, the example that I want to give you today is um, how you can either agree with the devil's lies or you can agree with God's word and both will manifest in your life, whichever one you agree with, okay? The example I want to give you is this. So I've prayed for many people for healing over the years and I have seen people be healed. I have laid hands on people and they have recovered. And I have also seen people receive their recovery or their healing and then instantly, maybe a week or two or a month or however long, they lose it. And you wonder like, well, is God's word true? Why did they lose their healing, right? And maybe this has happened in your life, but let me remind you that we have to stay in agreement with God's word with the faith of a mustard seed, okay? So here's what happens. Let's say you prayed for someone that needed healing, okay? You pray for them, they start getting better, they start having less symptoms, less pain, and they are praising God. Thank you, Jesus, you're healing my body. And they start proclaiming it. Thank you, Jesus, your word is true. You're healing my body. Thank you, Jesus, right? And then all of a sudden, so let me back up a second. So while they're doing that, they're coming into agreement with God's word. I am the God who healeth thee. I hung on the cross and I bore your sickness and disease. I will make you whole and well. Okay, this is professing God's word. And when you profess it and you come into agreement with it, that's when it begins to take root because you're having the faith in God that his word is true. The opposite also can happen. So you prayed for this person, they're seeing their healing, that's manifesting and all of the things, they start feeling better and everyone around them is noticing their healing. They're saying, wow, you seem so much better or you seem so much healthier, you look great, what's going on? They start to testify. Here's what happens. If you now change your agreement from God's word to agreeing with the devil, and the devil starts whispering in your ear at night when you're home alone and he's like, you're not healed. That word is not true. That healing is not for you. You're getting worse. You have more symptoms now than you've ever had. And he starts whispering all this stuff with you. And here's where you have an opportunity. You either make agreement with what he's saying, and when you do, you are entertaining that lie. And that's when you lose that healing. You start seeing what the devil said, because you've now come out of agreement with God's word. Do you see how powerful it is? See, as a Christian, we have our part, and God has his part. Even when we came to salvation in Jesus Christ, we had a part to play. The Bible says that we are saved by faith through grace and uh, by the grace of God in Jesus Christ. We had to have faith. We had to believe. The Bible says that you have to believe with faith that Jesus is who he says he is. And you have to repent in order to be receive forgiveness of your sins and have salvation, right? So the our part... <laughs> is where we're believing and coming to agreement with God's word is that we have faith that he is who he says he is. And when you have faith, your part is the believing in God. His part is the salvation. And then on the repentance part, you repent and the re the repentance brings God's part, which is forgiveness of your sin. Okay. See, this is why we have to come into agreement with God's word as two or more agree. And I believe this also applies where the two is you and God's word. 
It also is believing and coming into agreement with another person and joining your faith with them. That's why it's so important to keep your faith unadulterated, uninhibited by other people that don't believe in the word of God because they will pull you from the truth. They will pull you into agreement that, of things that are against God's word. The devil is always looking to get you out of agreement with God's word. Listen to this. This is uh, Acts 2 verse 38. Peter replied to them, he said, each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. There is this agreement that we come into with God's word where, yes, I have the faith, but God won't save you if you don't believe, right? You have to believe and you have to repent. But while, while you are believing and while you are repenting, that is coming into agreement with God's word. Do you hear what I'm saying? There is so much power in agreement as two or more agree that you can ask God anything of his father in heaven and he will do it for you. Because as two or more agree, Jesus is right there in the midst. God is right there in the midst. The Holy Spirit is right there in the midst. So I want to challenge you today by asking you, who are you in agreement with? Have you made an Ill, Ill agreement with the devil, not even realizing what you're doing? If you have, today repent and make a new agreement with God's word. The new agreement is, is just, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I believe the devil. I came into agreement with his word, his lies. His word is only his lies. He's a liar, he's a deceiver. He, all he does is lie. But God, God is truth. He is the truth, the life, and the way. He is the only way. Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father in heaven. And when you come into that new agreement and you repent from agreeing with the lies of the devil, God will restore you and you will begin to see the word of God come to, to life. It will show up in your life and, and you will see it. You, you will notice that your agreement with God's word is producing the fruit of the repentance, the fruit of of the spirit and the fruit of God's word which is the truth I hope that you are challenged today that if you have been in agreement with the devil who's the liar who's the deceiver of the brethren the word says the brethren being the body of Christ the believers of God the followers of Jesus Christ if you have been deceived by him break agreement today and make a new agreement with God's word as two or more agree and then come into agreement with your brothers and sisters in Christ and stand on the word of God and you will see things shift in your life you will see God's word take root in your life and then when it starts to bloom whoo, oh honey it's beautiful You'll start to see it and people around you will see it. And, and you can be encouraged in your faith that, wow, God is integral. Wow, God is really who he says he is. He is true and honest and trustworthy. He's integral. And his word he never comes back void. So I'm challenging you today to come into agreement with the word of God. Don't listen to the lies of the devil. His only mission is to derail your life through lies and deception. And if you don't know Jesus today, maybe your whole life has been wrapped up with the devil's deception and his lies, but you know you need to surrender your life to Jesus today. All you have to do is repent and turn from your sin and follow Jesus Christ. Ask him today to help you to change you,
to transform you, to forgive you. He will because Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sin, for my sin. Because we couldn't pay for that cost on our own. It could only be paid for by a sinless, spotless, wrinkle-free blood. That's the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ, who was sinless on this earth. Only His blood could cover a multitude of sins. And if you made that choice today, I'm so proud of you and I want to pray for you. Please let me know down below and I'm happy to pray for you. Also, if you just need prayer in general, you can email info at randytafoyaministries.org and we're happy to pray for you there as well. And I want to say thank you to my regular viewers and those who watch these videos all the time. Share this video. Thank you for watching and thank you for sharing this video. Someone needs to be encouraged by the word of God today. Someone needs to be encouraged by this message today. It is no accident that you are listening to this video. It is no accident. God does everything on purpose with a purpose. So thank you for watching. Come and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And I'll see you next time.